Welcome. <laughs> Let's go. Let's watch the Wicker Man. Here we go. Why did Nicolas Cage ask if there was a shark in the bag? Why is everyone being so rude to Nicolas Cage and why is he starting to make sense now? Did they just do a dream sequence? Within a dream sequence? The Wicker Man was released in 2006 and was directed by Neil Labute. It stars Nicolas Cage, the man, the myth, the legend, returning for another banger movie. <laughs> but it's the same plot basically as the other Wicker Man where there's a police officer, Edward, uh, but they changed up this time with uh, Edward getting a letter from his ex fiance who ran away, Willow. And basically, her daughter, Rowan, has disappeared, and she's asking for Nicolas Cage's help. May I suggest when you watch this movie to drink a little Henny, or, sorry so I don't get demonetized, apple juice. So I know I'm making fun of it and, like, acting like I don't like this movie, but... This is one of my favorite horror movies ever. It isn't good. <laughs> Let's just get out of the get that out of the way. This is a completely terrible movie that should have never been made. But oh my god, am I so happy that this movie was made. It is so funny how terrible it is. And it's Nicolas Cage in a horror movie. This is all anybody has ever asked for. Now, since this movie, Nicolas Cage has appeared in other horror movies, including Mom and Dad, <laughs> which is just as terrible of a movie, and Color Out of Space, which I actually enjoyed. I thought he did pretty good in it. Uh, he got to do his, you know, crazy shtick that he does in all of his movies, but it fits really well for it. But, oh boy, The Wicker Man is just so iconic. There's so many scenes in this movie that are so iconic. It is one of my favorite movies of all time. So, actually, the first time I watched this movie was with a, my group of friends in uh, college. And that's really how our friend group started. So, shout out to all of you. You know who y'all are. Love all of you. But this was the first movie that really started this movie group to where I started watching more horror movies and started really enjoying them a lot more. Because before then, I would watch them, you know, I'd be like, that was fun. But I didn't really always watch them. And it would be probably every month I may watch one horror movie, if that. But now, since then, I watch so many horror movies. I probably watch like three horror movies a week. And I'm loving life. And, <laughs> you know... It's my 21st birthday, so, woo! So don't worry, it's not illegal. But this is enough chit chat. Let's get into the meat of this movie, which there are going to be spoilers in this review. So spoiler reviews, flashing lights everywhere. Bang, flashing, 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 spoiler. <laughs> but I don't even know where to begin, honestly, because there's so much to say about this movie. That's so awful. I mean, do I start with the bees? Do I start with the bear punch? Do I start with the dream sequence within a dream sequence? Huh. Or should I start at how to get burned? How to get burned? How to get burned? <laughs> I think the best place to start is by thinking about the original movie that came out in 1973. So that movie works so well because it pits paganism versus Christianity. And that's where the main conflict of the movie comes from and where all this tension, all the scariness comes from. But in this one, 
they thought, you know, that's outdated. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do men versus women. And the women are going to control the society. And, you know, the men are going to be used for sex and reproduction. So, you know, that's fun. Uh, it's actually kind of funny uh, when you think about it. But there's no true horror to it. I mean, it's just women leading a place with men not being the dominant of this location and there's nothing really scary about it they don't really paint it scary uh, at least with the paganism one you saw the fear in edward's eyes with you know him seeing all this paganism since he's been since he grew up with christianity but whereas with this one, there's no true fear because Nicolas Cage just seems annoyed by everything and isn't really scared. He just gets pissed off halfway through the movie and like his uh, ex fiance will talk to him and be like, yeah, she loved to draw. And he'd be like, yeah, draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's basically saying how all of us feel, which is I hate everybody, but I love Nicolas Cage. It's really hard to think of what I could add to this movie because there's been so many discussions and so many YouTube videos about it already. It's like, what can I add to this masterpiece? Which really, there isn't. I just wanted to watch it and, you know, review it. But I'm going to strap down. We're going to talk about some pros and cons. So, pros about this movie. All right. So, cons about this movie. The whole thing. <laughs> Being serious, though, the pro of this movie is definitely Nicolas Cage. He is so funny. Not intentionally. Uh, definitely unintentional. But he is so funny. I was laughing the entire time. He's just so great. I mean, it's Nicolas Cage. Of course he's going to be great. Other pros about this movie could be the set design. I mean, it is really beautiful. Like, being actually serious in terms of a movie. The set design is pretty gorgeous. But other than that, the cons, the writing is terrible. There's nothing scary about it. The jump scares are all so guessable. There's no real person that you're afraid of. And it really feels like there's no threat to this movie. And it feels like they're just throwing different cliches like, let's throw fetus in the jar. Uh, let's throw falling from a high place to have a little scare in the middle of the night where it's not going to make sense. I don't think that's in a lot of movies. <laughs> but even then, there's other scares that just don't work. And it's so bad. But by far, what saves this movie is by how funny it is. I mean, this is such a terrible movie. And it is the most hilarious thing that you will ever see in your life. I mean, there's so many iconic scenes that everyone knows. I mean, everyone knows. The bees! They're in my eyes! Ah! And... You killing me won't bring back your goddamn honey. <laughs> and, oh, there's so much to it that it's just so hard to, like, pack it down into funniness because there's just so many funny things happening every three seconds because nothing makes sense. Nicolas Cage has dreams about this random girl who died in a car accident that he didn't save, but he keeps on coming back to it. And, like, it'll just be a random scene of him sleeping and this random girl just gets plowed by some truck. And it's the most funny thing that you've ever seen in your life. He's on a boat going to this island. He sees the girl. He's like, oh my god, it's the girl. She gets plowed by a truck. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say about this movie. I mean, I think that everything's already been said. Uh, you know, watch Chris Stuckman's review about it. He does something very funny with it. Um, there's other people, Nostalgia Critic, he does a good review about it. Just watch this movie. Just watch it. If you're going in thinking it's a good movie, don't do that because that is not what you do. This is a terrible movie. But oh my god, is it so funny. I love it. This is one of my favorite movies ever. Watch it. Watch this movie. Do it. You will not be disappointed. Unless you're going in thinking it's good, which it is not. But watch it. And one thing to note, The Bees is only in the unrated version. So watch the unrated version. 
But if you don't and you watch the rated version, you're going to see James Franco because somehow they got him to do this movie. Overall, I'm going to give this movie... I was going to say a 0 out of 10. <laughs> I'm going to give this movie a 1 out of 10. But in terms of funny bad scale, 10 out of 10. Perfect. Beautiful. Mwah, everything I ever wanted. Dream sequence within a dream sequence. Nicolas Cage waking up pissed going, God damn it! Everything I ever wanted. I love it. Please watch it if you've never watched it before. Please. Whatever you do, watch this movie. So thank you everyone for watching. Leave some comments below if there's another movie you want me to watch. And thank you to everyone who has sent me birthday wishes. I love all of you. But let's flash forward to the next reveal.